Hello everyone. Um, as part of this session, we will essentially talk about um, sourcing data from Salesforce as a source connection and moving that to a cloud-based um, warehouse, let's say Snowflake. So, so the idea is that let's assume that you have all of your CRM data that's currently loaded in, in Salesforce and you want to move that to a centralized location like a Snowflake cloud-based database so that you can have a centralized location for your centralized reporting and um, analysis standpoint. And you can do that by setting up Data Lakehouse or IO Sync Bridge. So there are essentially three components to it. Number one is we would set a source connection from Data Lakehouse or IO with a Salesforce source. We will set up the Data Lakehouse or IO to a Snowflake target and you would set up a sync bridge to connect the source with the target. So the step one is that we log into our portal, which is app.tiradekhouse.io. As soon as you log in, you should see a dashboard similar to what we see right now. And on the left, you see that you, there's a connections tab. If you click on connections tab, you should be able to see the sources. Um, on the right, you see all the sources that tiradekhouse.io can currently connect with. So you can search by searching by Salesforce and it should get you the Salesforce connector. So in the interest of time, I have pre-filled some of the values and the connection values, but if you click on add new source, it should take you to a landing page similar to what we see here right now. So uh, step number one, you've got to assign your name and alias for your uh, Salesforce connection. You've got to assign a target schema prefix. Now target schema prefix is nothing, but it is going to be your um, your sales folks, your um, schema in Snowflake to which data lakehouse.io would load data from Salesforce into your target um, Snowflake schema. You can choose the Salesforce environment you want to connect with. So in case if you have multiple environments like a sandbox, production, test and so on, you can choose what you want to connect with and you should click on reauthorize your connection. As soon as you click on reauthorize your connection, it should take you to a landing page where you can pre-fill, sorry, you can fill your Snowflake, uh, your um, Salesforce credentials, and it should authenticate um, and uh, ask you to authorize the connection between data lakehouse.io and Salesforce, and then redirect you back to this landing page here. Once all of that, that is done, sales uh, data lakehouse will let you know that the connection has been set up successfully, else it's going to throw you an error message indicating what the error was. Uh, once that is done, you can also pre, um, double check by going on source schema and on source schema, you should essentially see uh, your schema that's there in your uh, souls in your Salesforce source. So you click on that schema, you'll see all the tables that are currently existing. So you can control the tables that have been loaded from the Salesforce source into your uh, Snowflake target. So you can check and check and uncheck if you don't want to load some of the tables from the source. Uh, it also indicates if your source tables have a primary key or not. And if you also want to indicate or control the columns being moved around, you can click on this uh, grid like a button and it indicates what columns are getting replicated across your databases. Uh, and you can also control if you just want to do a historical resync of individual tables, you can control that by clicking this button. Um, that is done, we've set up the source. Now the idea is to set up a target. So uh, you can either set up a BigQuery target or a Snowflake target, but for our demo purposes, we'll set up a Snowflake target. Uh, again, I've pre-filled some of the values, uh, but the idea is that you have to assign a name to your target. Snowflake target is, a, is, 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 is an example of a name that you can give as an alias. You've got to specify the account URL for your target Snowflake account. Make sure that it's the entire URL, that is the account number, .snowflakecomputing.com. Specify the port, generally we use 443. Um, specify the database that you want the load to happen in, the warehouse that TerraLakehouse.io should use while doing the load, and the user that TerraLakehouse.io will log into Snowflake as, and the role assigned to this user. So you, you want to make sure that DLH underscore test has that role, data lakehouse underscore role assigned to it in Snowflake, and then choose your authentication type. Currently, you can use username and password or the keeper authentication to connect with Snowflake. So once you click on save and test, if all the connection parameters are right, then it should throw you a success message indicating that the success of Snow, uh, the connection with Snowflake has gone successfully. And as you can see, it's gone, it's happened successfully. 
once we have the source we have the target now it's time to go and set up sync bridges so we click on go to sync bridges and we should click on new sync bridge and we can just give a name to it so i can say sales to sync i choose my sales my salesforce connection sorry i should go to my different project my safe my salesforce project and then i go to sync bridges and then i click on new sync bridge and then i say sales test sync sales test sync i choose my salesforce connection that i created right now and then i choose my snowflake target and then i choose the time zone that i have specified here I specified my Salesforce target that I guess so yeah I can choose my sync time zone so I can either choose a UTC time zone or if I if I, if I want to sync based on American um, local time zones so I can choose that so we can choose UTC um, and we can choose a sync frequency whether it's every one hour two hour three hour uh, up to 24 hours um, very soon we plan to launch support for frequency which are less than one hour so I choose less than 24 hours and I say save sync bridge and if the bridge has been created successfully I should go to a landing page for sync bridges so indicates the source the target my frequency my sync sync frequency and right now it's idle that means we have not run the bridge yet or it's not running right now but if you want to run a historical load, you've got to choose actions and say run sync bridge right now. So when you say run sync bridge right now, it performs a historical load and all your historical data that is a one time initial load is loaded into your database, post which you would start having your incremental loads based on the assigned frequency. I hope this session was clear to, to explain how you would go about syncing data across Salesforce and snowflake but in case if you have any questions reach out to us on our website and we'll be happy to answer any questions any queries any concerns thank you for your time have a good day